Hi, ESP32 is a small and wonderful camera module which can be used for many applications like security cam, face detection and access control, etc, etc. Its dimensions are 42.5 by 27 millimeters. The price of this little cute module is only around $8 which I would say is dirt cheap considering its performance and applications. This video is for those who already have installed this module and finding it difficult to set default video resolution or frame size. For those who want to install this module for the first time can find a plethora of tutorials on websites and YouTube. Okay, now uh, let us see how we can do this. It's very simple, very, very easy. Now I have powered up my ESP32 module. Let us go to the link. Let me find out the IP address first. Opening the uh, uh, serial monitor and uh, finding out the IP address. Here it is. Copy the address, open our browser, paste it there, and the cam is open. As you can see, the resolution is CIF, which is a low level frame size 400 by 296. There are many frame sizes down the list, UXGA being the highest one. If you are using the module for uh, face detection, CIF is fine, but for other applications like security cam, it would not be. You can see the different resolutions are having different effects on the video. So now, let us see how to modify the code to set UXGA, the highest resolution as the default resolution or frame size. Open Arduino ID, go to file, examples, ESP32, camera, camera web browser. Select your camera model. In my case, it's uh, AI Thinker. So, I uncomment this uh, line. Then type in uh, your Wi Fi uh, credentials. username or sorry SSID and uh, password and then scroll down to find this line of code. Now, Go to the uh, ESP32 web page menu and open the drop, drop down list and note the frame size name two steps below UXGA that is XGA. 
Now go back to the code and change Q V G A to X G A. Now it is time to upload the modified code. Let me connect the module to programmer uh, so that we can uh, upload the code. Once it is done, just go back to the, the Arduino IDE and hit the upload and here it goes. It is compiling now. Uploading has started. It will take a while. Let us have a look at the uh, ESP32 menu once again. You can see many options there like brightness, contrast, special effects, vertical flip, a lot of things. You can uh, find many guidelines on website how to set default values for this, accept the resolution. That is why I decided to publish this video. We are almost done. Now I need to disconnect the programmer and restart the module. Module restarted. Now uh, I need to go to the serial monitor and uh, find out the uh, IP address. It is the same. So, copy this and uh, paste it on the address bar of uh, your browser. See, it is starting up with UXGA now. There are uh, other resolutions also in the list. You can set other resolutions also uh, as default similarly. Thank you for watching.